Hello everybody, welcome back, welcome back. I had a request for an open track set up, so I wanted to show you guys how I get head tracking going in the game. So I figured I'd just kind of give you a quick demo on what I do and how I set it up. So we're in ETS2 right now and got a single 27 inch monitor. I just wanted to show you the, how much, um, like my range of motion. So right now it looks like I need to make a few corrections, so we'll go ahead and go through the setup and I'll show you how I do it. So first we'll go ahead and pause the game. Let's grab open track. So right now I'll have links in the description where to download it and everything. So we'll go through the setup right now. So you're going to want to make sure that you're using the neural net tracker as your input. The only thing you really need to worry about is making sure that your webcam is selected here. Uh, I've never made any changes to the output. Um, I've always just kept it at FreeTrack 2.0 enhanced. Um, if you use... Yeah, I don't know. I've never made any changes to that. I always left it there. Uh, filtering, I've used Excella. The only thing I do is I kind of up the smoothing for both rotation and position. So in this case, two and a half degrees is the max setting and 1.5 millimeters for position. Uh, this is where you can do your bindings for centering uh, your view, um, starting and stopping tracking. Uh, I only use yaw and pitch, so I actually disable everything else, uh, but you can set those up also. So here's my current mappings. By default, it looks something like this, um, where it'll share your movement between one box. I like to split it up. Um, that way I have more control over my left and right, how far I can look. So one thing that I did notice is when it comes to my head rotation in game, I want to be able to look a lot farther to my left, so what we'll do is we'll set this up. So right now I'm looking at my left bezel. That's about as far left as I'm going to look in actual, like in real life. And then this is about as far, it's about as far right as I'm going to look. Oh, actually, sorry, I'm setting this up for one monitor. So that's about as far right here. Now I want to be able to look out the window, so I'm going to bump this up to about 60 degrees, and then we'll bump this one up to about 40. So this is going to give, so I'm only really moving my head about 12, 14 degrees in each direction, but my actual movement for my head in game is going to be 60 degrees to my left, and 40 degrees to my right. And we can do the same with our pitch also, but I'm going to leave mine as default. Because I don't, it's the same setup practices, but you don't really need as much movement. A lot of times I don't even use pitch. So we'll go ahead and hop back in and we'll see how this works, if this is working better. So my, I'm going to be able to look, didn't pick it up quite yet. So let's hop back out. See if we can get this to look out a little bit more. I might have to go up to upwards of 90 degrees. I haven't set this up for a single monitor in a while. Okay, that's getting me looking out a little bit more. I can almost get my head out the window. So let's go ahead and try a little bit more. So let's go all the way to 120. This should definitely get my head out the window. Oh yeah, now we're looking out almost behind us. So we'll go a little bit farther, 140. Let's up this to 60 so we can actually see out the side. Oh, 
All right, cool. So now I can look straight down. So if I'm at an intersection, I'm going to be able to look right down the road this way. I'm going to be able to look out and behind me. I can see even my back tire. I can look up. I can see the top, the cab, and I can look down. I can see the full instrument panel. So this looks to be pretty good. Yeah. Now, if I wanted to, say, be able to see into the back seat, I can up this one up to, like, say, let's do 160. Let's kind of max this one out. So this is straight ahead. I can look behind myself. I can look in the back seat. Just got to keep in mind, because the range of motion is so little, I mean, 15 degrees is moving me this far, you're going to really have to keep your head still. But yeah, I can look all throughout the truck now. Just have to be very careful. That's a little extreme as far as our mappings go. So we can knock that back quite a bit. But as you can see, this bottom line here, that's going to be my actual head rotation. And then this is going to be my end game values. And that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, that's going to get you your head tracking. Um, obviously, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend anybody to copy these settings unless they're using a similar setup of like a single monitor. Um, with triple monitors, my uh, degrees of motion is much smaller just because I already have, I can already see so much of the screen. But yeah, that's pretty much it. The only other thing we got to, I got to show you left is just where you um, set it up in your config file. So let's go ahead and hop out of the game. If we look, at our config file, and these are located in your My Documents folder under American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2. It's the config.cfg file. You're going to want to look for your Toby and Track IR settings, making sure both of those are set to 1. And once you have that set, as long as you have tracking started on OpenTrack, you're going to have uh, head tracking in game. And like I said, I like to bind a start and stop just because. I really only use the tracking when I'm at intersections and um, when I kind of check it out the scenery when I'm driving, but I don't I don't utilize it all the time. But I hopefully this was helpful and hopefully this give, gave everybody the information that they needed to get this set up and check it out on your own. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. If not, I hope everybody has a good one. And as always, happy trucking.